right, Matt. So we just went through a great flyweight preview, UFC 250 coming at you from Vegas. And our next fight at 185 pounds. And on the screen, if you're watching, you can see I put an asterisk next to Maki Patolo. He's moving back up in weight. Typically a welterweight taking on Kid Dynamite, Charles Bird. And it's a really interesting matchup because two guys that are primarily strikers. Yes, I understand Charles Bird has some finishes by submission. Maki Patolo oddly enough, and you can say what you will about the fan rankings on, on Tapology and how weird they are, is in the top 100 greatest of all time MMA strikers. I don't know who put coconut bombs up to it, but he's 12 and five as a pro mixed martial artist. In his UFC debut, it did not go well against Callum Potter. One that, yeah, maybe he won a round possibly, but it just did not go his way. He got taken down three or four times by Potter as well. I don't expect Bird to do that in this one. I just want to say for what it's worth, that's what you're up against. I mean, if you look at Bird, he's a guy that competed twice on Dana White's Contender Series. Season one, two big wins, comes in, beats John Phillips, and then he lost his last two to Darren Stewart and Edmund Shabazian. Two guys who, say what you will about Darren Stewart, he's had some pretty good wins in the UFC. I know he lost in Cage Warriors to Bartosz Fabinski in his last time out. But Edmund Shabazian looks like the real deal at 185 okay. pounds. So you get Maki Patolo, who's won 9 of 12 by finish. You get Charles Bird that's finishing people. Does it make for a good fight? What do you think here? It makes for a good fight, but it doesn't make for a high skill level fight. And I don't mean that disrespectfully to either guy, but the fact that this fight is ahead of, on, of uh, for Megan Perez on the card makes no sense to me. You have two ranked flyweights. And there's kind of a narrative out there that people don't like watching flyweights. Where's the last boring flyweight fight that you've ever seen? Like, they're always really, really good. It's crazy high outputs, ridiculous scrambles. Like, their fights almost always work out. So I think Charles Bird has a few more intangibles. I think he hits a little bit harder. I think he does have a little bit more grappling in his back pocket if he really has to go to it. But this fight is not the highest skill level fight you'll ever see. I think it's going to be really good for one round, and then it's going to start to tail off quite badly after that. And here again, you have another Fortis MMA guy in Charles Bird taking on Maki Patolo. And in terms of the odds, Bird the favor here, minus 175. Maki Patolo coming in, plus 145. Underdog at a 726 votes on Tapology. 60% going with Bird, 51% predicting a decision. Do you see it that way? I mean, your guess is as good as mine, really. Like, this fight is such a coin toss. I don't mean that in a positive way. I just mean, like... It could kind of go either way, just because you don't really know what either guy's going to bring to the table. I mean, Bird isn't necessarily young for the division, especially where he's at in his career. I believe he's 36 years old. And at middleweight, yes, there are some guys who can still fight like that. I mean, Yoel Romero's probably going to fight till he's 70. But other than that, there's not many guys who can go that far into their 30s or you know later on to their 40s and still be successful. I don't see either guy in the top 15 anytime soon, but I will say I think Charles Bird's going to get the win. Matt's very skilled technical analysis at the end saying it's a coin toss and not in a positive way. I'm going to agree with you going with Charles Bird, but Matt, the rest of the card, UFC 250, you're not going to want to miss it. Five minutes for our main event, two minutes for the rest of the main card and the prelims. Matt, as we always say, with Fight Night Picks, let's, let's get, get into it. it.